Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to some more Sims 3 Not So Berry Challenge. Um, last episode was a little bit amazing. Um, and before I forget, I'm buying a burglar alarm because as hilarious as it was, we don't want that to happen again. We're gonna learn from our mistakes. Um, where's a good place for that? Let's see. Let's put it, I guess, right here, maybe. I'd like to put it by the front door, but there's, like, no room. Can you put it outside? <laughs> yeah, we'll put it outside. That way they know we're secure. And they'll see that alarm and they'll be like, oh, no, you know, I better not mess with her. Okay, so... We've got a pretty good relationship going with Bobby Sargent. Um, there's just one problem, and that is that he's married. Um, yes, we are going after a married man. Why? Because why not? It adds an extra challenge, you know? If you see a man that you're into... And he's married. Just get him to break up with his wife. By the way, don't follow that advice in real life, please. Um, cheating is not okay. Being a homewrecker, not okay. I'm sure I don't need to tell you that, but and just in case. Also, Peppermint's pretty tired today, um, so she didn't get much sleep last night. Um... She's going to do independent research at work today. But yeah, after the whole burglar thing, she just didn't really get back to sleep. So she doesn't have too much energy. I think she's probably just going to hang out at home when she gets done with work. And then the next two days, she actually has off because it's the weekend. So we'll probably work more on our relationship with Bobby at that point. All right, cleaning chemical residue and botanical blobs off of the lab dishes wasn't easy, but you did it just the same. You've always held yourself to high standards, which can be seen in the shine of these dishes. Excellent work as always. Your job performance has improved. Fantastic. I feel like she's going to get a promotion today. If she doesn't, um, we're calling HR because she definitely deserves one. Promotion? Yes? Please? Are you serious? How did she not get a promotion? Because she's in a bad mood. Her house got burglarized last night. Of course she's in a bad mood. That is ridiculous. Peppermint totally deserved a promotion. Absolute ridiculousness. I call shenanigans. All right, answer your phone. That was Bobby. What's he want? He'd like to chat. Do you want to talk? Sure. Um, she is really tired. But she also needs to work on her garden. She needs to go weed her plants. So go do that. Hopefully you can get some skills. I'm just really upset that she did not get promoted because she totally deserved it. What? It's hard to maintain a good relationship when you don't call or hang out with friends. Bobby and Peppermint are no longer... She's on the phone with him right now as we speak. What are you talking about, game? What? What are you talking about? Call him back. Weed your plants and call him back. We just talked. Oh my god. Alright, call that man. Are you kidding me right now? It's ridiculous, I swear. Gotta be kidding me. <gasps> She's like exhausted. She's standing outside in the hail. Are they still not friends? <sighs> it's 
send him a text message. This is so stupid, I swear. <laughs> go take a nap or something. Okay, it's 8.20. You, you should probably just go to bed. What was that? What the heck? I heard, like, some scary noise outside. What was that? Like, I know the game sounds pretty quiet, but do you hear that? Like, what is happening? What is that? What is that? Who are you? Are you an alien? There's an alien outside. Well, you're a woman alien, so we're not interested. <laughs> Maybe if you could probe us and give us alien babies, I would consider it, but no. Go find somebody else to bother. We're not buying what you're selling. Like, is there a UFO around here? I don't know. Can Peppermint please just get a good night's sleep for once? <laughs> Alright, so Peppermint's up bright and early. She's ready for the day. Um, first things first, we're inviting Bobby over because the fact that they're no longer friends when they literally talked on the phone twice yesterday. What? Are you serious? He doesn't feel like coming over right now. What is happening? Does everybody just hate Peppermint all of a sudden? My god. Well, go tend your garden. Maybe it's too early. You know, he could just be tired. <sighs> Alright, pay your bills. This one okay. Alright, how about you plant some more things? Um, plant a basil seed. Can you do that? No, you're not good enough for that. Okay, how about a bell pepper? Can, nope. Okay, can't do that either. How about a mandrake? Yes, okay. There we go. Now will you come over, Bobby? What is happening? Is he like... Shut up, paper boy. I'm really upset, you guys. I don't know why Bobby is being such a jerk all of a sudden. Um... I mean, they were like hitting it off and now he's like, we're not friends anymore and I'm not going to come hang out with you. So Peppermint is going to go to the beach. She's going to work on her fishing skill. And there's a horse. Oh my gosh, there are three horses <laughs> at the beach. Oh, what are these? Some seeds? Actually, go pick those up when you get here. Um... But yeah, she's going to work on her fishing skill. Maybe some eligible bachelors will come by. I don't know, you guys. She's just really unlucky in love so far. What is all this? What is that? Truffles? Oh. Well, we are at least finding a lot of seeds, so... That's good, at least. Are you seriously, like, wading through the water to get over there? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that water's, like, ankle deep. Uh, whatever. Alright. Catch some fish, Peppermint. We're gonna get at least to level one. There you go. <laughs> Poor Peppermint, though. Like, she's tried and she's tried. She's tried online dating. 
She's tried, you know, breaking up marriages. Nothing's working for her. I gotta say, like, making relationships in The Sims 3 is not easy. All right, Peppermint caught a minnow. So, I mean, that's, you know, that's cool. <laughs> oh, there's, what is that horse doing? It's like walking backwards. Oh, who's this? What is this? Oh, is this a boxcar diner? That's cool. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not even going to say anything about that face. <laughs> um, we don't want those jeans. I'll leave it at that. Alright, who... Oh, oh my god. Um, I was going to say who's this guy, but, uh... He got the crazy eyes. Um, what's your name? Can I like find out your name? Newton Baker? I don't know. I feel like we shouldn't give up on Bobby just yet. You know, maybe he just had a bad day. Maybe he's just busy today. There's got to be some reason why he's he stood us up. Well, he didn't stand us up, but he's kind of just being a jerk. Alright, we're just catching a lot of minnows at this point. Maybe this isn't the best fishing spot. Um, how about we see if Bobby will go fishing with us? Um, there should be another fishing spot around town. Pretty sure I saw one at one point. Um, there we go. The A L, -L Corn Fishing Park. Maybe he'll meet us there. Oh my god. Alright, you know what? <laughs> Maybe our boss will go. Where was that fishing park? Right here. Sure, that sounds like fun. Let's meet there. Okay, well, somebody's interested. Wait, what are you doing? Is she taking a boat? Oh my god, the peppermint. <laughs> Peppermint apparently is also Jesus. Um, I would say Bobby's really missing out. Um, what are you doing? Stop. Just go to the lot like a normal person. Guys, what is happening? Please, no, why is she trying to take a boat? Okay, we're gonna have her... Oh my god. Do we have to boat here? Like, is that... Like, he's... Is, is that him? That's not even him. Who are you, uh, Ahmed? <laughs> Standing ominously in the bushes. <laughs> Maybe she has to take a boat here. Um, God, this is really strange. Um, here, let's click on her bike. I'll have her specifically. She's still trying to take a boat. What is happening? Uh, where is she? Sorry, I got hung up on something. Maybe we can meet up again soon. Oh my god. Okay. You know, Peppermint, just, just go home. Just go home. I don't know what that even was. She, like, could not figure out how... To get out of the water. 
We're inviting Rich over. Why don't you start making dinner? Um, so that we can properly seduce him. Looks like he's already here. Did you hear him, like, giggling in a really ominous way? Where are you going? Oh my god, I'm gonna rage here in a minute. I don't know what is going on today, but Peppermint's having some serious issues. All right. Um, let's compliment his appearance. Um, wonderful lab coat. Glad you decided to wear that over. Um, and let's give him some romantic flowers. I mean, this guy's been into us since the beginning. Maybe we should have just stopped um, thinking he was creepy and just, you know, accepted it. <laughs> uh, compliment his personality. Flirt. Peppermint learned enough lifetime happiness to purchase a reward. Okay, we'll check that out here in a second. All right, give him a hug. Okay. We're probably going to want to save up for like a better reward. How cool would it be to be able to watch TV and slack off at work without the boss caring? Hmm. You know, that might be a good one to get off his hero. Co-workers will love hanging out with you. Um, I think I'm going to actually get um, professional slacker. Because then she can just kind of do what she wants at work. And still get work performance. Without getting stressed out. So that'll be, you know, pretty good. Oh gosh. Will a first kiss go over well? Oh boy, we've kissed. Um, can you make out? <laughs> as we, as his wedding ring is in full view. <laughs> yeah, this guy's had the hots for Peppermint since he hired her. Like. I, I think it was kind of inevitable that these two just ended up together, honestly. How do we get him to break up with his wife, though? Um, maybe we need to, like, be dating first. Right now, we're just kind of, like, the side chick. Um, I'm kind of thinking if we, like, seal the deal, he might be more keen <laughs> to break up with her. So, uh, let's, let's go ahead and see if we can go all the way with Rich. Okay, nope. We need to back off a little bit. He's, he's into us, but he's not quite ready for that yet. You know, that's, that's okay. I won't get mad at him for that. But for now, we need to finish making that salad because Peppermint's getting pretty hungry. Oh, hold on a second. We got a phone call from Bobby. Wow, you've been avoiding us all day, Bobby, and now you want to talk? Hmm. You've got wind of the fact that we're uh, in another relationship now, and how we're talking about trash. Like, you are literally trash, Bobby. Did he just break our computer? Are you serious? Oh my god. Man, things are kind of crazy right now. I think you just... Okay, can you not? Let's lower that volume. I don't want to hear the music. Okay. Okay, you had your own computer, but you decided to break mine first. That's very nice of you. Well, 
we're gonna go to sleep. He can stay or whatever, but... Oh my god, I swear everything in her house breaks. But Bobby is being very hot and cold right now. I'm not sure what to think. Not sure if we want to go for the creepy boss. You know, I feel like if we go for him, we're just kind of settling. <sighs> Hard decisions. Hard decisions. Alright, so Peppermint's got her handiness skill up. She fixed the toilet. She's going to fix the computer. Hopefully not electrocute herself and die, because that would just be awful. And then we're going to see if Bobby will come over, because... I really feel like I'd rather go for him than Rich. Um, just the whole boss thing creeps me out, but I don't know, man. It's rough. It's rough. I don't know who she's going to end up with. Alright, Bobby is still being a huge jerk. So you know what? We're going over to his house. We're going to go see what the heck is going on. Oh my god, paper boy. I don't care. I don't need papers. It's 2018. Uh, like, leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, this, this is not appropriate behavior in real life, guys. Like, if someone's avoiding you, do not just go over to their house and be like, yo. Whoa, there he is, there he is. Greet him. Bobby thinks Peppermint is being a bit creepy. Why does he hate us all of a sudden? Like, what is his deal? What happened? Um, I mean, I don't really know what what went on with them in that phone call. But I feel like that phone call they had where they stopped being friends, like, something must have happened. And it's doing the thing again where I can't see inside. Okay, there we go. Let's, let's just talk, okay? Let's try and be friends again. We're not going to say anything weird. We're not going to say anything romantic. Um, I just want to figure out why we're not friends. Okay, we're friends again. Why did we stop being friends in the first place, Bobby? Like, what happened? Um, a thing popped up that said Bobby was rich, but his house looks very modest. Um, he has a really deep basement with a car. Can you, like, even get that out? <laughs> That's weird. Is this his wife? Hmm. Okay, so this is Scout. Wow, she looks like a nice lady. Um, feel kind of bad. I mean, we're just friends at this point, though, you know? Oh, man. Rich is having another party. Um, well, just pretend we didn't see that. All right. So, let's see if Bobby will go out with us now. Maybe we can go get something to eat. You know, we're just going to keep it casual. Um... You know, maybe we went too hard last time trying to impress them with a fancy restaurant. We'll just go eat at the boxcar diner with Bobby. See, see, maybe that's more his style. Alright, it looks like he's going with us, so... Why are we going in a police car? <laughs> I don't understand. Is this your car? Like, you're in the military. You're not a police officer, but... All right, Bobby, sure. Whatever, man. He's kind of a weird guy, so I guess we shouldn't question it. This is such a small thing, like... 
this a real thing like in real life a tiny box car diner it's kind of cute like when i first heard box car diner i was like wow that sounds awful but it actually looks pretty what is this somebody's grave somebody die here what the heck whoa it almost looks like a train like derailed here or something and killed somebody that's uh really disturbing um huh i wonder if there's any way to find out more about that i i feel like there's got to be more to that that's really strange though all right so we had a good meal with bobby um is he still in there there he is no you don't need to be texting rich um Give Bobby a compliment, an innocent compliment. <laughs> he really does not seem into it. Um, compliment his personality. He's just like, okay, thanks. You know, he's not like getting flirty or anything. Um... I mean, we know he was on an online dating site, so he's not totally innocent here. Um, ask his sign. Aries, okay, I don't know what that means. Uh, my husband's an Aries and I'm a Taurus, like peppermint, and I mean, we get along. Who are you? Paparazzi? Excuse me, I'm busy. Like, no, Bobby has time for you. Um, give him flowers. Give him some... Here, actually, let's give him friendly yellow flowers. You know, nothing... Nothing too romantic. Okay. He's feeling kind of flirty now. Um, oh man, I feel like I'm going to mess this up. Um, just flirt. Just a regular old flirt. How about a hug? Is that, is that too much? Nope, he's okay with the hug. Oh god, I don't want to mess this up. <laughs> Peppermint, or Bobby thinks Peppermint's being very alluring. Ask to break up with Scout. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Hold his hands. And then... We'll try a kiss again. Oh, my God. Can you go away? <laughs> okay. Guys, this is, we're trying to have a romantic moment. And you, everybody's, like, in the way. All right, they had a first kiss. He accepted it. Peppermint has a naughty reputation. <laughs> um, embrace. Kiss. And then ask to break up with Scout. This kid's like... Weren't you just with another guy? Like, I swear, I saw you with somebody else. Pretty sure you're a cheater. You're a dirty cheater. Like, I'ma tell everybody. He's just got that look. Like, I see you. I see you, Peppermint. All right, he took the kiss. Will you break up with Scout and be with me? That looked like a yes. You know, you're right. Things are over between me and Scout. Scout, Scout might be pretty upset with you, though. <laughs> Who cares? Like, you're ours now, right? 
Can we get him to like be our boyfriend? Why did why did she get upset about that? She had like a negative uh moodlet from that. That's because she made an enemy. <laughs> Sorry, Scout. Sims are starting to catch on that something is up between Peppermint and Bobby. They might want to tone it down before someone gets hurt. Well, um, all I can say about that is that we need to cool it off with her boss. Soon, like real soon. Or things are probably gonna get bad. Oh my god! <laughs> is that Justin? <laughs> Why is he, like, anti-Bobby? He's like, mmm, I could have had me some of that peppermint. But now, like, Bobby's got her. I lost my chance. Also, I'm a fairy. <laughs> well, sorry, Justin, but you stood us up. Alright, will you go out with us? Alright, we are in a relationship. So, we have made wonderful progress. Peppermint has a boyfriend. It took a lot to get there. It took a little bit of stalking. Um, a little bit of questionable behavior. But, I think I can proudly say we uh, have a husband lined up. So, fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to like the video, and I hope you have a great day. See you next time.